New Zealand is sitting on the collision boundary between two huge tectonic plates. In the North Island, the Pacific Plate is diving underneath the Australian Plate in a process that we call subduction. So the area where this is happening around the east coast of the North Island, we call the Hikurangi subduction zone. There are many geological effects associated with this subduction process. If we look at the ocean floor off the east coast of the North Island, you can see an area that's very deep. This is called the Hikurangi Trough. And this is the actual line where the Pacific Plate is actually diving underneath the Australian Plate here to the west. We can't really see what's going on underneath the North Island where the Pacific Plate dives down. What we can do is we can have a look at where earthquakes are occurring to see if that can help us get a picture of this subduction zone beneath the North Island. So we have a seismometer network all over New Zealand and with this we are able to locate where earthquakes are happening down below the surface. So here you can see hundreds of earthquakes. These have all happened recently in the last few months. But most of them are very, very weak and we would never feel them on the surface. But they are strong enough to be detectable by the seismometers. So one thing that's interesting that this shows us is that you might notice the different colours that are given to these earthquakes. The pale blue are shallow earthquakes that have happened perhaps 10, 20 or 30 kilometres below the surface. And as the colour of those earthquakes gets darker and darker, that shows us that they're happening deeper and deeper down. So the very dark blue ones over here, for example, they are occurring at least 200 kilometres below the surface. We know now that these earthquakes are showing us how the Pacific Plate is diving deeper and deeper below the North Island. This is a very idealised diagram, if you can imagine taking a huge knife and making a vertical slice through the North Island so that we can see it from the side. Um, here is the Pacific Plate with the oceanic crust and um, the upper mantle. And it is diving down beneath the North Island to greater and greater depths. And to the west, we have the Australian plate that is pushing over the top of the Pacific plate. So the reason we have uh, the Hikurangi trough is because as the Pacific plate bends down, it creates a sort of lowering of the surface of the ocean to create the trough. Just to the side of it, the Australian plate is bulldozing its way through the surface sediments of the Pacific plate. These sediments are sand and mud which are sitting on top of the very heavy basaltic volcanic rock of the ocean crust. And so these soft sediments are kind of being bulldozed up, which gives a very rough appearance to the continental slope um, leading down into the depths of the Hikurangi Trough. So you can imagine here that the Australian plate is being pushed into and over the Pacific plate and this means that there are many fault lines where the Australian plate is fractured and is being pushed upwards and these huge faults in the upper crust um, have pushed up the mountain ranges of the North Island that run all the way from Wellington up to the Bay of Plenty and the East Cape. The biggest fault of all is of course the plate boundary itself. And if this ruptures, it is capable of creating a really huge earthquake of magnitude eight or even greater than that. If the ocean floor gets displaced by an earthquake, by a fault rupture, then it is possible that a tsunami can be generated. Now, as the Pacific plate goes deeper and deeper below the Australian plate, 
when it gets to about 80 or 100 kilometers deep, it is so hot and the pressures are so high there that it causes minerals in the rocks of the descending plate to be transformed, to change their makeup. And in that process of metamorphism, water is released. And that water is partially melting these rocks which are in the, the mantle wedge of the Australian plate. And these melted rocks form huge blobs of magma. And because they're hot, they start to rise very slowly up towards the crust and towards the surface. So some of the, this magma never reaches the surface. It will slowly cool down in the crust and, uh, and crystallize. But occasionally some of it will reach the surface and erupt as a volcano. This subduction process has given us many of the landforms that we see in the North Island. Behind me you can see flat hillsides and these occur all around the east coast. They are uplifted marine terraces which were once at sea level but have been pushed up over thousands of years by many earthquakes. Inland we have mountain ranges pushed up along major fault lines and behind those we have the many dramatic volcanic landscapes of the Topor volcanic zone.